Y'all, I'm sick to my stomach. Will I be my friend? Robert Red, Billy Black, got a demon and a cat. Mucho, mucho better. In cahoots with a demon. Got on my buttercream, silk shirt. Have I stopped? Ever? I can't believe it's already the third of the month. Make sure you pay your rent. Pay your rent. Fashion Nova. I got a Fashion Nova pack. I'm not gonna put them on because I didn't buy that many clothes per se. I just wanted to show y'all. I re-upped all my gold um, hoop earrings. Needed those. Cause my the ones that I got are rusty. But I'm gonna still wear the rusty ones when I'm not going anywhere for real. But I'm taking these with me. Just the regular. Everybody asks where I get my hoops from. I get them from Fashion Nova. Regular, regular hoops. But um, the, the thickness and the weight to them, 
they're better than the beauty supply store. I upgraded from the beauty supply store. These are the earrings that I'm going to be wearing to my sister's pudding. And I was excited for these. They look, I didn't know they had black in them. They look different from online. But. Still very pretty. So excited to wear them. Oh, battery about to die. So excited to wear them. These are gorgeous. Yeah, these are gorgeous. All right, so these are so pretty, like I was saying. I am going to try to wear these um, with the fit. I don't know what I'm wearing, actually, while I'm playing games. I have no idea what I'm wearing for real, but I kind of have an idea because I've been wanting to wear this top that I haven't worn in a while. I mean, that I haven't worn at all. So we'll see. But if not, I don't know what I'm wearing for her graduation. I really don't. I know my mom going to put that shit on, though. So I know I need to put that shit on. I just, I just, I don't know. I've never been to Howard's campus for real. And I want to be comfortable. I don't want no hullabaloo. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no hullabaloo. And then I got one more pair of earrings that I'm also going to be wearing. This upcoming weekend. Oh, they're cute. I didn't know they made noise. They're so cute. So some hoop earrings. Some little cute. Oh, these are cute. I like these. Jingle bells. Batman smells. Running lead and egg. Batmobile. That's too sweet. These are so cute. I didn't know they made no Jingling, jingling, jingling. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. I just I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I've been looking online on ASOS, but man, they have not been doing it for your girl. I don't know. Oh, I have those slacks. I don't know what they're on, but they're not on much. I can try and get on Eloquy, but Eloquy shipping is anyways. I got this shirt that I wanted to show y'all because it's so me and it was only $12 so I copped. Ooh, they starched it real nice, real nice. Yeah. What it say? What it say? Zero fucks given. I wish it. Zero fucks given. Oh yeah, this whole fire. This whole flames. And it's good quality. It's a thick one. It's a thick boy. Yeah. Yeah, can't wait to wear this with my uh my cargoes. Keeping that and then I got um a skirt that I already got, but I just had it I just got it in a different color. Uh, so I already know I'm keeping it because I know how it fits and I like how it fits. So it's this green skirt. Y'all know how I feel about fringe. Yeah. Uh, I have it in a brown texture, but now I have it in green. Oh yeah, this is a set that I am gonna try with you guys. Let's see if that fits good. Oh yeah, this too. Oh yeah, I'm just too. Is this? Let me try this on. So, this fit. So, this fit, I like it. I'm just gonna have to be very careful <laughs> regarding the breast because it ain't it's see through and it ain't shit really going for it. But it's cute. I like it. I'm keeping it. And it's comfortable and it's airy. So I can still wear it in the summertime. Uh, yeah, I really like it. The other one, the other set, I couldn't even put on, on over one titty. So, but this is cute. I like this. I like it. I like it. I 
video for a flesh a fashion overhaul and for me to only return one item solid so now i'm gonna go i'm hungry so i'm gonna go return these items both fashion over and pretty little thing and then i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go to panera i don't know why but i've been randomly craving panera and i um i don't know i'm just in the mood for for it so yeah let me go let me do that now I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I was looking for a specific sandwich, but I see it's no longer on here. Um, for the ciabatta cheesesteak, what comes on that? Okay, may I please have a half of that? And then may I also please have a half of the smokehouse barbecue chicken? What bread does that come on? Is there an option to not have it come on ciabatta? And tomato basil what? I'm sorry? Tomato basil meat. I don't know what that is. Um, may I please have the brioche? Alright. Um, those come with chips, right? Yes, it does. Oh, y'all do y'all still have the um lemon cookie? No, not lemon cookie. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. Um What are the what are the cookies that y'all have? And you said candy and what? What is kitchen sink, sir? Uh, you said chocolate chip candy, oatmeal raisin, and kitchen sink. Uh, goodness gracious! Let me get the chocolate chip, please. Um, and a water. I think, I think I should be good after that. Thank you. God damn it. They don't have any of the stuff. I'm never coming back. They don't have any of my, of the things that I used to eat. That's cuckoo, cuckoo manga. That is cuckoo manga, man. That's that B, man. I got none of my stuff, man. I, I, I was looking at that menu like, what the hell is that? What is that? That hurts my motherfucking feelings. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been, I haven't been to Panera in that long. They didn't change everything on me. Took away the lemon cookie? Lord. That's, that, that. I'm sick, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach. I was in that drive through line. Oh, well, y'all can see. I was really looking it up. I was like, man, I can't find the sandwich that I used to get. They fucking took it off the menu. But I got two sandwiches. We gonna try. And then they took my favorite cookie off the menu too. The lemon cookie. I hate when restaurants do stuff like that. They take the good stuff away. Like, they take the good stuff away. Which one is this? Ooh, I'm so mad at that. Like, what's even the point then? Oh, this is... This is the barbecue chicken sandwich on um, brioche bun. Looks, doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm, huh? Good.
They're all good. This is the ciabatta cheese steak. The ciabatta cheese steak is good. I just like the barbecue better. And you know another thing I don't like? I don't like when, I don't like when like you, uh, you're about to pay and like say the total is $19.99 or say it's even $19.50, you give them a $20 bill and they're not thinking and or they close the, they, they just figure you don't want your change back and they don't say anything. I don't give a fuck if it's one cent. Give me the option of being like, oh, do you want that? Cause like, they'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot to give you your change. Well, it seems like a problem for you because I'm not leaving until you give that to me. Meanwhile, it's one cent. I don't give a fuck. I will hold up the line because as soon as you take my option away from me, we have an issue. Y'all, I was so lit to have that sandwich. I couldn't wait. I was thinking about that one and one sandwich only. You know how like you in the mood for something specific and you want that one thing. If you don't have it, my whole day ruined. My whole day is shot. You know what be driving me up a while? FOMO. Fear of missing out. Every time I call on my phone and I see like mutual friends outside together and I'm not there, I be like, nobody had my phone number. Nobody could taste me. Nobody wanted to call and see where I was at, what I was doing, if I could come through. How come nobody thought about me? How come nobody wanted to see me? This look like fun. Ruka can't have no fun. Every time, it be when I'm on Instagram. And the thing about it is, is that, yeah, it's not necessarily jealousy I be necessarily feeling. It's something though. It's fear I'm missing out, it's FOMO. It's like a mixture of the two. It's like, you know, I don't, I wanna have fun too. But it's also like, not only do some of my close friends know me, I know me. Am I really gonna go out? It's Friday. After work, I took me a nice, nice, nice nap. Clouds, sky gloomy. Winds winding. It's lightning thunder everywhere and it would have been nice somebody would have hit me up but I can make my own plans I can hit them up I can see what they're doing after this since I see them outside you know I can involve myself I can integrate if needed or I can mind my goddamn black ass business either way the thing that I think that I suffer the most from is taking things personally appendicitis. I take everything personally when in reality, none of this shit got shit to do with me. 
none of this shit got shit to do with me. It wasn't that, oh, they purposely left me out. It wasn't that, oh, they didn't even think of me. It's that they had their own thing going on, and they had their own thing going on. My FOMO is a personal issue. It's a me thing. It's just scrolling on Instagram and having FOMO. If I didn't scroll a bit on Instagram, would I have given a goddamn? The answer is no. The answer is no. So, you see how all of these problems, they all circle back to me. And and to be quite frank, I'm not leaving my goddamn house. I'm not leaving my goddamn house. This laundry been sitting. Baby girl, I need to hang it up. I need to hang it up. Also, as a 31-year-old woman, I think my closet needs more slacks. So, hopefully on Sunday, we can go to tour just to see what's on the clearance rack. And we can go to TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, and Burlington's because not only do I want to see if they got slacks for your girl, for your apple-shaped babe, I also need a carry-on suitcase. My carry-on suitcase, the zipper's busted. I haven't thrown it away because it's still very useful, but it's not useful for its intended purpose. Um, but yeah, I was on my bed. I, I woke up from my beautifully uh, scheduled, unscheduled nap and scrolling on Instagram, saw my friends outside doing something I would have liked to have done and been invited to. And FOMO came over my body, I said, oh, and I wanted to hit him up and be like, oh, nobody thought about me. Why would I do that? What they got going ain't got shit to do with me. I had to tell myself the truth. I did. Um, anyways, yeah. It's crazy how I don't have any space in my closet. None. But I, I don't have shit to wear. I ain't got shit to wear. I'm looking at my clothes because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to pack. Because, you know, I like to wear things. But when it comes to being around my family, the things I like to wear tend to minimize themselves. So I have to be very aware of what I'm wearing. And I'm looking at the things that I have and everything. Maybe about 85, 90% of the things that I got. Titties out. It's too sexy or it's form fitting. And I tend I try I try not to wear form fitting clothes around my parents. So I need to figure that out. Which is why again, y'all remind me, Sunday. Sunday, because Saturday's filled up. Sunday we're gonna go try to see if we can get some slacks or something. Because Next week, I finally get some braids. It's braid season, baby. I cannot wait to zip these wigs up and put them away. I'm going to do what Aubrey Graham say back to back to back to back to back. One more thing before I let y'all go. Let me uh, multitask. When I tell you, when I tell you, niggas... Niggas be dick riding. I am not joking. Niggas be dick riding. Kendrick, I've never seen a rap beef go on for so long and be so redundant. Like, it's been so unattractive, the amount of men who took, took it upon themselves and to act like they part of OVO. Like, baby... Drake don't know you. Drake don't Drake don't know you. You over there acting like, oh yeah, y'all think Kendrick won and uh this, that, and the third, but really, Drake got the most catchy diss of all time. And, and then on the other side, oh, there's so many different layers to what Kendrick is doing. And who gives a fuck? Are any of them niggas paying bills? Let's start there. Let's start there. Are any of them paying bills? You should see the way Twitter look right now. Twitter is a mess right now. And then, um, what's that? What's that lady name? Sukiana. 
You know another another bitch that always be in some goddamn mess? JT. Sukiana and JT on Twitter beefing. Like, the thing is, like, y'all, get the... First off, JT is is in cahoots with a demon. So, that that should already tell y'all how things go. Because Lil Uzi Vert, dating somebody like that voluntarily? Come on now. Let's all be fucking for real. So, why are y'all arguing with somebody like that in the first place? Like, let's be for real, please. Come on now. They both crazy. Why are you arguing with somebody like that? I think that's another reason. That's another that's another way. That's another reason why FOMO got me. Like, cause the negativity that spews online, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got it, it's so much going on. Like, who are you to say anything? You know what I'm saying? That's why I need to start reading back again. I need to start reading back again. Because all this shit is making my ear hurt. I need to start doing happy shit that I that doesn't involve me um, digesting negativity. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in such in the habit of doing something and you're addicted to something and you you aware but you don't really give a fuck type shit, it, do, it doesn't affect you until it's too late. Like, because... For me, like I know social media got me in the motherfucking jungle. I know it do. But have I stopped? Have I? I haven't. I motherfucking haven't. No one did I need to. I know I should get like another like bin or something. Or like tray or something for this place. But I just want the stuff that I wear often to be easily accessible. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? I also got a few things from Amazon. I want to, during the summer, one thing that I want to do is get into sunscreen. This isn't the sunscreen. This is the sunscreen. My friend told me about some Korean some Korean sunscreen called Sunprise. It's bright. There you go. So, um, this was like $14 on Amazon. But I am going to go into Sephora and try the Super Goop uns Unseen. And then I have a friend who works in Sephora and she uh, told me about Paula's Choice and Shiseido so um, I'm gonna try them I wanted to see if it leaves a white cast it is white oh my god and I know I have to use a lot as a black person it's gonna leave a cast but it's not bad it's not bad what y'all think it smells good but I'm scared of things that smell good on my face, honestly. My friend said this worked for her though. It's SPF 50. Again, this is this is an Asian product. This is a Korean product. So the the words are um, in a different language. But I'm just gonna rub it on me and see. But if if not, if it don't. If I don't like it, I'll just move on. But it's something to have. I need to really get into sunscreen because I think this is something that's that this is the number one thing that's been missing from my skincare. I think people uh, suggest toners and stuff, but for me, I don't need a toner. I, I I'm using what I'm prescribed. Uh, all that ten-step skincare stuff. Save it. Save it for somebody who has the time and money. Because it ain't this bitch. So another thing that I bought is this this little gadget. This is a quick release um okay. That's how you do it. Okay. This is a quick release 
This is interesting now. So, how do I go about this? I put this on. Okay, yes. So, right. So, this thing, this gadget, you put this on your tripods. You put this on your tripods and this on your camera. And this will, because I hate screwing my camera on everything. But that's the reason why I don't get as many angles because I'm a lazy hoe. However, with this quick release thingamabopper, when you put these on your tripods, I bought two. So when you put these on your tripods, you just leave this, leave this part on your camera and then you just click it. You just click it on there. Don't let me lie to y'all. Huh? Okay, so I'm I'm still learning it obviously, but um it's not me. It's not. So to put it on there, you just slide it on, and then to move it, you just click it off, slide it on, click it off. I'm about to use it right now to see. It makes it a little taller too, but you see, like, you on my tripod now, but then I could just da da, and I could just put you back, da da, which is cool. So I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna leave this one on here. You're a little janky. Don't play with me. I'm gonna leave this one on this tripod and then um, I'm gonna put it on this mini tripod. I need, this one is just so travel friendly, but I need, I need a new one. Because baby, that hoe, so I got another one. So I will just um, keep the first part. I'll just keep the first part. I'll just leave this somewhere. I mean, I'll just leave this somewhere because I already have one on the camera. But I'll put this one on here. And then I'll just be snapping that hole on and on. On and on. Because that's the reason why I just don't be changing my cameras, my camera shit so much. But now that I have it on here, I could just back up. And then back up. Ah, okay, so this one might be broken because this one, this one has two buttons. Oh, this one might, oh, yeah. So, I, 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 I need to, I need to look into this one because this one, no wonder. But, um, yeah, for now I'm with it. For now I'm with it. Anyways, I've been talking y'all's heads off. <coughs> Sunscreen, new gadgets. FOMO, uh, did my laundry, washed my ass, closed down for work. I think I've covered all bases for this mayhem. Uh, it may have been boring, but stick with me. You know, expect the unexpected. Because one thing that we do here is we talk shit. Another thing that we do here is, well, I don't fucking know. But bear with me, okay? If you're new here, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment something beautiful underneath the comment section. OG Choppers. Love y'all. If you got Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I'm on all of them hoes. My handles will be in the description box below as well as on your screen. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.